Hello guys, today we are going to learn how to implement factorial within the world of code. A factorial can be used as a function of a calculator or could be used for the waveform generation. You can read about it more in the description down below. Now, in our module, we will be taking a 4-bit input and the output would be of 8 into n or of 32 bits. We begin our programming by defining a module named factorial and within that, defining the inputs and outputs of the program. Now we define which ports are input and which ports are output. The input port is of 3 bits and the output port is of 32 bits. We also declare a temporary register in order to store the value of the output temporarily in it. It should be of 32 bits too. Another register is declared which is named as index register which is used to count the value until it is decreased to 1. The value which is counted is the input value. Now within the always block, firstly, we define the output value as the given input 1. This is necessary as we have to multiply various values to it. Now we begin a for loop in which firstly we assign the index value as the given input value and then we decrement the value until it reaches 1. Within the for loop, we just have to multiply the out underscore temp which is the temporary output register with the index register. Now we win the always block and assign the value of the temporary register to the output register. Now we end the module and compile our program. As the compilation was successful, now we will simulate it and for that we will type the test bench. For test bench, we create module named factorial underscore test bench and within that we define all of the inputs of our main program as register and all of the outputs as wire. Now we call our main program within it. We will instantiate it with the letter A1. Now we will type the dollar monitor system task command in order to monitor various values of input and output. The syntax of writing it is shown here. Now we initialize the values that is we firstly assign the value of input 1 as 4 and then after the delay of 1 we change its value.
we end the initial block and also end our test bench module we save the program and then compile it As you can see, after solving few errors, our program com has successfully compiled. Now we will simply simulate it. As you can see in the transcript window, the values of various factorials of the numbers such as 4, 5 and 8 are shown. The values of 4 is 4, 24, 5 is 120 and 8 is 40320. You can verify these values. Thank you for watching.